I'm going to show you how to use a Google Doc to have your students do vocabulary. So first I'm going to title my page and then I'm going to insert a table. Now if you've ever had any uh, formatting issues for creating columns or anything, tables are really my answer for a lot of things. I use tables all the time in documents. For this one I'm going to make it a 4 by 5 Sometimes I do four by three and I just do word definition and picture. The, for this one, I'm gonna do word definition um, Sometimes I have them do a kid friendly definition or a definition in their own words and then picture. So um, I like to adjust the column so that there's a little bit more space for the definition. And then sometimes I will type in the words for them. And sometimes I'll have them type their vocabulary words in. Actually, now that we've been doing this for a while, I like to have my students, their sixth graders, make the table themselves. Okay, once I have my vocabulary words in there, in order to make it really obvious for them where they have to input answers anywhere, I like to just highlight it in yellow. So I like to find the background color tool. If you don't see a paint can up here, you're going to have to click on more, find the paint can, and then choose a color. So I use light yellow, then my students know that's where they need to put work in. And then in order to do a picture, if you've never seen the research tool, this is one of my favorite, besides tables, my favorite tools um, in a Google Doc is this research tool. So that's just under tools and research. When I pull that up, I get this um, little bar in the right hand side and I can search. So I can search everything in Google or I can search images. So if I'm looking for an earthquake, it'll search It'll search all of Google and whatever's tagged as an earthquake. Now, to get my students into good practice, I like to have them click this upside down triangle. Wherever you see a triangle, that just means that there's something more that you can click on. So, it's naturally just not filtered by license, but if you click here, you can change it so that you're finding pictures that are free to use, share, or modify. And then you can change the citation format if you want to. So when students find a picture that they like, then they just click and drag it into the document and then it automatically cites it. It has this little one right here. So at the bottom of the page, this is the citation down here. If you don't want your if you don't care about the citation, you can always have them remove it and then there's no citation down there. Um, but either way, I think it's really nice for them to have a real picture right here with a vocabulary and once they're finished they just turn it into me in Google Classroom and then I have them post it on their Google site and it becomes a really nice way for students to study for an upcoming quiz or upcoming test or to help them use that with a project um, that I give them in class.